Hey everybody, happy Thursday. If you're in uh, the United States, if you're elsewhere around the world, it may be another day, I think. Like if you're in Korea, I think it's another day. No, it's Thursday now. I don't know. Anyway, hi everybody. Um, I hope you're all having an excellent day. I just uh, finished a uh, cardio boxing class with uh, Terry Norris, uh, who has a uh, little uh, boxing studio in, uh, I guess it's considered Studio City. Um, it's off Coenga. I highly recommend to check him out, Terry Norris. Uh, it's World Champion Cardio Boxing. Type in any of that. Uh, there are a lot of cool deals that they offer so that you can come test it out. This is my first class. And let me tell you, um, it was like my first time joining boot camp. It was like my first day of trying out Insanity. Uh, it really wiped me out. I was taking a lot of breaks, and I understood that... Um, sorry, I just noticed that I said, um, and that's something that I'm working on. But that's just Gary talking. For those who understand what I'm talking about with Gary, you got it. For those that don't, uh, really quickly, from the event that we just... Uh, did. Uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, Gary. Gary is the voice in our heads that provides the doubt, the fear, that tells us we can't do something. Gary is our ego speaking. And when we're not in the moment, Gary often can seep in, chatter up, chatter up, chatter up, and lead us to making poor decisions, decisions against what we really want, what we really love. So that was Gary in my head with the uhs and the ums, uh um, uh um, uh um. It's interesting to notice it, and I'm gonna let it go. I was one of six people in the class, and the only one uh, whose first time it was. Everyone else had done it before. So it was really interesting to be with people who were really into it and had gone through that endurance and that practice, and it was my first time. And it got me thinking about something that Kyle talked about. He talked about, uh, one of the references he had was pushing our limits, how we create these false limitations in our head. And it's kind of going back to the patterns that I was talking about in the last video. These patterns that we create in our head that are from past situations and are about the future, but have nothing to do with this moment because in this moment everything is new, everything is fresh, it's just happening, it's in the flow. And so I noticed as I was doing different exercises as part of this interval training, this, it seemed to be mini circuits, but it was moving, 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 and it's a lot of cardio, it's a lot of punching, it's a lot of moving with the feet, um, punching while doing sit-ups, punching while uh, doing high knees, and I noticed that based on the amount of time that was left, that was making the decision in my head when I was getting tired. Because my biggest burst was actually about three quarters of the way through when I finally noticed this and let it go. And then at the end, I had that extra second win, as we all usually do right at the very, very end. But somewhere in the middle, we think, how much longer do I have to go? Or we hear the minute or 30 seconds, and we go, okay, I'm gonna take a break, and then I'll do it strong for the last 10 seconds. Kyle made a reference about running, how if we're used to running two miles or three miles or maybe for a certain amount of time and we take a look at our, our clocks and we see that we've ran for that long or maybe run that far, there's a trigger that often goes off that says, oh, I should be tired now. And then we get tired and we don't push forward anymore. We get into this comfort zone of doing the same thing over and over again. We hit a certain limit, again, a false limit, and we slow down because we're afraid of what happens if we push ourselves further. But as we all know, if we do push ourselves further, when we do pu push ourselves further, 
and we've all experienced this with at least one thing in life, we break through, we do it. My favorite example is as a child. What's one of the first things we do? We learn as a child how to walk. We crawl around for, for so long and finally we see mom and dad and other people on their feet and we decide, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna try it. And we get up on our feet and we tumble down. Maybe we hurt ourselves or maybe we just tumble down. We get right back up and we tumble down. Imagine what would happen if in that moment we were to create a false limitation, a limiting belief that said, it's scary to fall down. So I'm not going to try to get up any further than I've tried already because I know I'm gonna fall down because that's what's happened in the past. So I create this false limitation that this is what will happen in the future. We all can walk. We all learn eventually, and it's because we keep on trying, and we push through when we fall, and then we push through even further, and eventually we make it. So the same thing goes with anything, any intention that we have, any goal or action that we're setting. In our fitness, with our careers, with our relationships. So it was really amazing to do this intense cardio boxing class and find the moment when I could push through and get into the zone, into the flow. And I was just going for two minutes straight, whereas before, the idea of doing it for two minutes, I was waiting for him to say, one minute or 30 seconds, and then take my break. I would exhaust myself in my mind when my body wasn't even fully exhausted yet. My body was exhausted plenty, but I knew I could push through it. And so I opened that up to all of you as a challenge as a mission, as something to try out. What's one thing in your life that you can actively put your focus on pushing forward, even just a little bit further? Whether there's a time limit on it or a certain number limit on it, maybe it's in your running, maybe it's in your workout, the amount of push-ups you can do, how long you can hold that plank, how far you can run, how long you can run. Maybe it's a phone call with your parents. Maybe it's, up. Oh, I can only handle five minutes with my mom. I'm gonna go seven minutes this time and see what happens. So take a look at something and I encourage you to stay in the present, stay in the now, as I've already said in many videos, and push through and see what that brings you. Because I'll tell you, I feel excellent doing it and I'm excited to go back and push through even further. So keep pushing, keep staying in the flow. And uh, this is video number four. Bye-bye.